five bright red lights for the Amelia Rand Grand Prix. They go out and they are off the drivers down towards turn one. And it looks like it's been quite a start for that is the number right on the inside of, uh, that's, I believe, the Williams. Actually, no, that was Staffso who's going down the inside of Jokeberg, but he goes off the track and he's going far down the grid. Down all the way. Relatively simple, except for the Red Bull of Staffso going off again. And he spins off into the wall. That's a front wing loss. It's actually not Staffso. It's the other Red Bull driver DNB. No front wing. No front wing on that Red Bull anymore. Red Bull takes away your rings. That's the first casualty oh. of this wet race. Massive crash at the and back, too. Car. Massive that's crash Sandy at the back. Maggie. Yeah. Same Jesus. thing, also no front wing. Virtual safety car has been called out. Maybe we'll check the conditions later if it does ease up Forecast again for Inters towards the end. If not, could you take oh, these wets? Gilliam's just gone off the track. Gilliam's down to second place. Jokebrook takes the lead. He's lost two places, three places, four places. The Ferrari's going to the Ghosted in the middle of the racing line. Everyone's going by now. Thank God for Ghosting in this game. Helium all the way down to last without a front wing now. I believe that is MBS going off, losing traction in the gravel. Not happening for the McLaren team right now. P12 and P20, that's Alex Budden and MBS. They're gonna have to try and get their stuff together, but they got a lot of time to do that. Any biggle, any biggles, any battles on like, track. Uh, uh, TJD is gonna be holding positions so far. There's another, oh, it's the Alpha Tower of Handy has spun out, coming out of Aqua Minerali, going down Freddy the did get Joke, or did Joke get Freddy? No, it's the other way around. Freddy got yeah. Joke a little while ago. Freddy's That's still right. in the lead of the of San Marino Emilia Miranda Grand Prix. I, I still catch myself saying San Marino <sighs> sometimes. Oh, big moment from Staffso in P5. We got a bit of a Staffso train going oh, on right put now. Put those inters on, especially with that weather forecast that I showed you there, showing oh, you a The safety car nearly just took out the M guy. Yeah, I believe DM guy is leading the championship. I did see that, actually. I caught that on screen. Red Bull, they have a new front wing ready. And they have fresh wet tires ready. So I don't know what happened to Staff, so I guess he hit someone under safety car. It's been a but warning. But Hayden's going to stick it down the inside. Freddy sticks it around the outside. Who's going to give way? Neither of them giving way a touch on Hayden Gullis. He gets all kinds of loose. And TJD now is going to take the opportunity to try and swing by to the inside. And on that overtake button, not even using it. Clean around the outside. Goes Alex Bud on Sandy Baggy P14. Those enters are still not in the right operating window. opportunity, taking a lot of those sausage curves. It's the Williams and in the lead, my friend. Oh, here he goes. Now he gets the move. That's Staffso on the inside of Helium, and he's going to stick it this time. Oh, but it goes a little bit wide. Is Helium in still his there? his gamble. Big lock up there from Freddy. Manages to keep it out of the back of his house. Right, really oh, but look gets, at the exit. He still gets the run. That means I don't know if Peruna messed it up at all or what happened, but Freddy Small gets back up into P5. It's a 4-5 Tamborello chicane. Is there any damage? I'm going to go look, Biggles. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's kind of a front wing missing. Yeah, run Saying down is that all the top guys in the championship are currently in the top five. Markin's actually just put a move on Sinny. Markin is up into second place. He put a move on Sinny. I just caught that. And now DM guy is trying to put a move on Sinny, but Sinny's got better traction. He's got more ERS potentially. Uh, I'm just looking at P7 at 256 at the fastest middle sector. So into territory right now. It's Inters. Is drying out. We're gonna go on board with Joe Pope then, see if he pulls it into the pits. Uh, now, yeah, look, there's not that many puddles left on the track, and the rain does significantly later on my screen. I'm keeping on. So we're gonna see this Williams. Is the Williams difference between those two tires? What's just happened to Hayden Gullis? Why does it say he's P11? You know, it's something that that's definitely a, a, a glitch with him. For that's, sure. Uh, that's the same. As yeah. Alex Bud retires from the session into the pits. So but, that's but I think we got a lead change. It's Joke Boat yeah. who claims the lead of the Amelia Magna Grand Prix. And DM guy is also going to rock it down the yeah, mainstream. Obviously path. a bit punishment because he's about to be under pressure right now there from the Haas. This is all for P6, really up for grabs here. Yeah, that's, uh, but you know what? That was the gamble finally paying off for the Alpine. Sat in last the entire race and now with 12 laps Where to go. Max is TJD is our race leader if he boxes right now. Yeah. So, all the way out of the points will be that wet driver runner, unfortunately. Uh, maybe uh, maybe just a straggler. Oh, maybe still blocking. What's going on here? Helium defending for his life yeah. from his teammate. Not playing the team game. DM guy all over the rear of the Williams drivers now. He's almost pushing his teammate That's into the, the ground. He's leading the championship. He just snuck one straight through there and said, no, I'm not going to be blocked any, any time longer. Sandy Baggy as background. well. Said, yep. yeah. Sandy Baggy, Freddy Small, and Peruna all having a very tussly battle. Ooh, very close between the Alpine and the Aston Martin. That's Freddy Small and Sandy Baggy. The effects of trying to run into Look how close three. market is. The Ferrari, they've hit each other. They've collided. Helium, Helium out. Market. 
I just caught the end Almost of that. Out of the the Amelia Romagna Grand Prix. 13 runners left of a full grid of 20. And it is Joe Boak leading the way from DM Guy, Sandy Peruna, and Freddie Small. DM Guy right on the rear as we're going green again in Imola. DM Guy all over the rear of Joe Boak. They're side by side. And so they are Peruna and Sinny as well. We're basically two by two. It's a 200 mile an hour formation. Oh, it's line. time to mention Sinny. And oh, never mind. Peruna gets oh. sent by Freddie Small and he forces him off the track. So Peruna's not going to be happy with that one at all. So, but can't do anything. Uh, he did. He went into the gravel, but he lives to see another day. Good save. Sandy back, he picks up another spot. Yeah. The wily old Alpine is just picking up spots. The leading from DM Guy, but this could be an opportunity soon for DM Guy. As you can see, he's getting yeah. a little bit closely, but I just want to see what happens with old enemy here on Tim. All over the back of that Williams car. Williams has to Martin and realize his way into the points position. He's got tough. One step closer. Yeah. The Ferrari well, powered actually... by Ferrari? Is it powered by Ferrari? We've gone back to that one. Still. A P11, so he's gonna have to make the overtake on track. But speaking of overtake on track, it's DM guy and Joe Brook leaving the way, and not really any battles. Everyone's kind of into turn one between Aston Martin and Mercedes. Freddie versus Sinny. Who's gonna get the overspeed to the inside? Goes the Aston Martin late on the brakes, and the Mercedes has no answer. Freddie up into the podium positions, but for real this time, as we also see DM guy. Yeah, pretty sure he's gonna be happy to be on a podium. A drive like that. Looking at a double Aston Martin podium right now. As oh, Sandy Baggy does actually pick up a penalty, but so does Peruna, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Sandy Baggy's still on to finish P6 on track. As all on three seconds penalties either, so uh, Peruna is actually in a really bad spot now. Peruna has to get by Sandy Baggy. Otherwise, uh, with that extra penalty, it's going to drop all the way out of its fresh tires versus old tires, and Sandy sticks it down the inside and maintains position again! He parked at the right place, didn't he? He had to say, if you're going to try to get around me, mate, you have to get uh, past me, you have to get around me. And I think Sandy actually just pushed the Haas almost off the track, and they're side by side. It's the final lap of the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. Joe Vogue is in the lead by just around a second over Sandy. And now, Peruna uh, try cutting it a little bit more. And it looks like there's an Alfa Romeo now looking at the inside of that Haas. That is Tim. Put Tim's attention back. Actually, never mind. Peruna uh, is making one last attempt to get by Sandy Baggy, and it doesn't not work. Enough. I don't think, yeah. Meanwhile, at the front of the grid, Joke Boke has dealt with it perfectly, and that Williams is going to win in Imola, setting the... Never mind, DM guy. Sets the Fantastic. Fastest. You win the Imola Grand Prix. Yep. The San Marino Emilia Grand uh, made in Monza, whatever, Grand Prix.